Western leaders have agreed to crack down on Russia's gold reserves as countries move to cut off one of Vladimir Putin's key lifelines that could help Moscow evade sanctions imposed in response to the war in Ukraine. G7 leaders met at NATO headquarters in Brussels on Thursday to tighten economic sanctions against Putin's regime in retaliation to Russia's invasion of Ukraine four weeks ago. The group of seven leaders and the EU announced they were clamping down on Russia's ability to sell its gold reserves, a last resort experts say could provide a lifeline for Moscow and allow Putin to bypass financial sanctions imposed by the West. Speaking ahead of the G7 meeting, Prime Minister Johnson said the UK and West must tighten the economic vice around Putin, including ensuring the Russian leader cannot sell his gold elsewhere. US President Joe Biden has also emphasized that Russian gold is off-limits to the West, backing sanctions that restrict Putin's ability to use his gold supplies to support the war in Ukraine. The White House said in a statement, G7 leaders and the EU will continue to work jointly to blunt Russia's ability to deploy its international reserves to prop up Russia's economy and fund Putin's war, including by making clear that any transaction involving gold related to the central bank of the Russian Federation is covered by existing sanctions. Russia has roughly $132 billion, 100 billion pounds, in gold reserves, which Putin has reportedly been stockpiling since 2014 in anticipation of Western sanctions over Russia's aggression towards Ukraine. Existing sanctions imposed by the West already prevent Russia from trading its gold with Western countries, particularly sanctions on Russia's central bank. The restrictions against Moscow cover any transactions involving Russia's central bank, Ministry of Finance and National Wealth Fund, including those dealing with Russian gold. However, experts warn that Russia could still sell billions of dollars worth of the precious metal elsewhere, providing a flow of cash that could be used to support the floundering economy. Eduardo Saavale, a sanctions expert at Columbia University in New York, explained the Russian leader had been stockpiling gold since the U.S. applied sanctions on the country in 2014 following the annexation of Crimea. He said Putin has long planned to use gold to try to prop up the economy as it becomes increasingly isolated from global financial systems, creating a so-called fortress Russia. And one of the things he did was limit exposure to the dollar and accumulate foreign exchange reserves to be ready, and gold was part of it. Russia was a huge buyer of gold for many years, but it wasn't just about accumulating gold, but also locating the gold in Russia. All these things were meant to prepare Russia for some kind of sanctions. However, Western sanctions have already scuppered his plans to some extent, particularly sanctions on the central bank.